Hi, Nicole here, and today I'm talking all about drone photography and videography. Now, as a brand photographer and videographer, I brought on a drone just to add to the creative process, add a different service for my clients, and I have loved applying this to some of my clients, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I wanted to give you some other examples of how you could be using this and making money and adding this to a service such as a brand photography business for your clients. So first, since my first video about drone talks about all the steps that you need to take to get your drone pilot license, that is how um, you can commercially sell as a service. You want to have that licensing and I have a video that kind of went through all those steps. So I'll link that here. Since that video, I wanted to touch on a couple things that I have done. First, you have a remote ID for your drone, which I use a sticker on the back um, to have that clearly stated. I also use stickers on the batteries. So I can cycle through that I know which ones I use last and as I'm going through them, I know how to swap. So I have my one, two, and three batteries. Um, something else that I also picked up was one of these landing pads. I'll outline this item down below too. But I found that when I was landing, it might be a grassy area and that the blades were getting sort of like caught up. You don't want to break the blades even even though you do have replacements. It's just another hassle. So I ended up buying one of these landing pads. It's double-sided orange or blue. Um, and this has been great because I can kind of just line up the drone. And this size was perfect for this DJI Mini 3 Pro. Um, I also travel with this case. This is a case that um, it's the Nanuk 915, and it's already outfitted with the shapes for the drone component. So here is the console, the drone fits in here nicely, and then I have the batteries lined up. I also have um, some of my licensing material. This is great and convenient. I know the drone is gonna be safe in this case and I bring it around and it's worked out really well. Okay, so let's get into the projects that I wanted to share with you when thinking about drones. There is a ton of content out there on how to do drone work for real estate agents or some amazing landscape and travel drone, which is incredible. Um, I'm working typically with small and medium sized businesses locally and when I first got the drone, although I had one project specifically in mind, and since then there's so many opportunities that I've been finding for the drone that I just wanted to touch on. So the first and the first project that I was thinking about for this drone was actually a micro tulip farm. Now she has a small farm and she's been expanding every year. So what I wanted to show you is that a before and after project for a client that you could sell and market to a business. So for this specific client, she plants all the tulip bulbs in the fall and then in the, all of the flowers are in bloom and she can promote her business. So we wanted to create the before and show all her hard work that goes into planting all these tulip bulbs, and then the after to really celebrate all this hard work and to get customers to the pick your own fields for a promotional type of video. So she can use this for multiple years to promote what's coming. She was doing that with the planting drone, all the planting drone shots and video. So to really start getting people curious and anticipating when the season is here. Um, and that's exactly what she did. So this was a great example, kind of like that before and after. So any sort of farmer, flower farmer, um, these were be great for that type of client, this before and after.
Okay, so for the next example I wanted to provide, this is all about a sense of place or a, a real look at a business's environment, maybe where they're located. So this client has a retail store with all home decor items, but then the husband is a woodworker and he has a wood shop he makes handcrafted furniture and has a furniture store, but they were launching these brand new sheds. So there'd be like a she shed or a he shed. And so we wanted to do some drone work to kind of highlight these sheds. So here are a couple drone um, pieces that we created. First, the workshop. This is a great type of shot to show a place to show their unique environment. This is in New England. This is a workshop. It's not a huge manufacturing facility. It really gives a story to the couple who owns this company. Then we wanted to highlight the shed. They have one personally on their property, so that's what we use for the drone. So for this drone shot, I actually flew the drone into the shed. I did a whole 360 and then I pulled out of the shed to really give this dramatic effect of the shed itself. And then we utilized the drone for those exterior drone shots and video of their stores. So they have two locations close to each other. One's the decor store and then one's the furniture store. So this is a great example of showing place, of showing what's unique about this client. So whether they live in a, an amazing place or you just wanna get across their story and their environment is part of that and where they live is a part of that, this is a great example. Back to flowers. This is a client of mine who has a seasonal business. So you can apply this in so many different areas, but this um, is another flower focused business that I've been working for for years. And a big element to her business is that she's doing something different every season. So whether it's seasonal weddings that she's doing the flowers for, or she's doing seasonal pop-ups, whether it's a wreath making event, there's always seasons. And she lives on this great property. Her business is focused on this barn. So her name of her business is Barn Door Blooms. So sh this barn is very significant to the business and the feel. So I, over each season, winter, spring and summer and fall, captured drone content at her home and with this barn. So here are the results of capturing kind of that seasonal drone project. So for the last example, and this might be more of the traditional type of drone work that you may be thinking of, which is um, construction. So again, this is an existing brand photography client. Knowing that I'm doing drone work, they had a project and brought me onto it. So a lot of projects have been evolving that way. And with video, if I'm already working with them for stills, and I already have that relationship, it's an easy like kind of transition and add on to kind of bring in video and on drone. So this is a client that I've been working with for five years. It's a local university and they're building a brand new track and field within their, or in their athletic area. Now, this is pretty recent, so I'm just capturing the before so we wanted to get shots of what the space looks like when you're entering 
into the track and field because I'm always thinking, okay, for this is a before and after project, what angles might be great after? So that before and after and in the relationship to the other fields around it. Um, and then also how far up can we go to get the full overhead shot of the track so they have a great solid like before shot so then now they can utilize these shots just like that tulip farmer to talk about and anticipate and grow excitement over what's to come and then when we go back in the fall or when i go back in the fall i'll be able to capture keeping all these angles in mind how to do the after shots for this drone project Okay, so I hope this was helpful to kind of think of how you could apply drone to your existing brand photography clients or clients out there in general. It doesn't always have to be real estate or a commercial construction site or um, buildings. So I just wanted to give that other angle to it of how you all, how you could also be making money and put it, reaching out to clients for drone work. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I have a video on all the steps that you need to take in order to get your drone pilot license. I'm going to link the video here so you can check it out. I'll see you there.